all of his life, Albert Speer concealed his knowledge of the atrocities in concentration camps. Now his lies have been revealed. We now have documents that show that Speer knew a great deal about Auschwitz. Uh, there was one document that shows that the General Bau Inspection invests over 13 million Reichsmarks in expanding Auschwitz for war, for economic purposes. But basically, he made a career out of lying about the Holocaust. Speer accepted the deaths of thousands of Jews and slave laborers to enable his own rise through the ranks. So what remains of the good Nazi? There is no such thing as the good Nazi. And if he had existed, it certainly wasn't Speer. He had committed too many crimes for that. I can remind you of an army of millions of forced laborers, most of whom were integrated into the armaments industry. There were about 700,000 concentration camp detainees who were still alive in 1944. About half a million worked for Speer. These are facts. Albert Speer lied about his involvement in Nazi war crimes and made a lot of money in the process. As well as suspect paintings, he also secretly sold sketches made by Hitler that he had kept for himself. Speer, for his own part, he didn't want to be seen as profiting from his relationship with Hitler. And so the fact that uh, we, know, we know at least of one case where he sold uh, an artwork from Hitler that he had in his collection shows that, that uh, he cared more about the money and was worried about the perception uh, in that way. And so, uh, again, you know, Speer was very effective doing things you know, out of the public spotlight and doing things quietly. And, uh, and this is another example. His efforts to get top dollar for his Hitler sketches were revealed in correspondence. The buyer offered three and a half thousand dollars. Speer insisted on his original demand of four thousand. He wrote, I enclose photocopies of three of Hitler's sketches. I regret that I cannot accept less than the asking price for any particular sketch. Once again, the architect who made a fortune on a foundation of lies was cashing in on goods accumulated during his loyal Nazi service. If we accept that this story is true, that this discreet conduct of business, also concerning the money, was intended to keep it quiet from his family and instead finance his lover, that also fits into the picture that you turn everything you still have into money. Why not hit the sketches? I don't think you have to ask any more about morality. In 2006, a Cologne auction house sold an early romantic painting by Jakob Philipp Hackert. A dubious name did not appear on the catalogue. A Jewish dealer from London paid 430,000 euros. He immediately wanted to reverse the sale when he found out the true identity of the previous owner, Albert Speer. Another secret was exposed. Speer had in his art collection works of art that had been effectively stolen from Jewish art dealers and collectors. Albert Speer became a wealthy man by manipulating his Nazi past. His lies and crimes have been laid bare for all to see. He was a very skilled liar. Uh, he was uh, very deceptive. Um, being able to conceal information to keep secrets. Uh, he would have been a very good poker player. Albert Speer was a war criminal. He did commit crimes against humanity. And if the prosecutors at the Nuremberg Tribunal had known everything about his activities during the Third Reich, he would have hung. Everything he did after he got out of Spandau was to bolster a lie, really. Maybe it was very... It, uh, a very delicate tightrope that he walked. You know, for most of the time, he didn't fall off. <laughs>